This problem says, find the maximum value of the equation y equals minus 2x squared minus 10x minus 21. What in the world does that mean? How do you find the maximum value of this equation? Let's think about that for a minute. I want you to notice that this is in standard form first because it's x squared plus bx plus c, and our a value of minus 2, that's a negative number. So in other words, this problem is a downwards facing parabola. I want you to imagine that for a minute. A downwards facing parabola, what does that look like? Let me sketch one out. It probably looks something like that. And then where do you think the maximum value of this parabola is going to be? Well, it's right at the top. It's right here. But what's that point? That point is the vertex of this parabola. So this is something that the SAT really likes to do. Anytime you see minimum or maximum of a parabola in a problem, they usually want you to find the vertex of the parabola. So let's do that now. All we need to do is find the vertex in this parabola. So to find the vertex, you use minus b over 2a anytime you have an equation in standard form. Our a is minus 2 our b is just minus 10. So let's apply this formula. Minus b is minus minus 10. That is a positive 10. And then 2a is 2 times negative 2. That's just negative 4. And then 10 divided by negative 4 is negative 2.5. So this is the x-coordinate. We need to plug that x-coordinate in to get the y-coordinate. So let's do that. So first I'm going to just write a note here that our vertex is going to be minus 2.5. And then we need to find the mystery y-value. So let's do that. Let's plug in minus 2.5. So we're going to have minus 2 times 2.5 or minus 2.5 squared minus 10 times negative 2.5 minus 21. So let's evaluate this. Minus 2 times minus 2.5 squared. You can just put this into a calculator. And what you're going to find is that it's equal to negative 12.5. And then minus 10 times minus 2.5. That just becomes positive 25. And then we still have a minus 21. And then if, if you evaluate all of this, you'll find that this is equal to negative 8.5. So that's the y value of our vertex. So now let me fill this in. Our vertex is minus 2.5 comma minus 8.5. And then when it wants the maximum value of this function, that is just the y coordinate. So our actual answer is just 8.5. And just like that, we're done with this problem.